And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. There is a need for light in the midst of the prevailing darkness on the earth today that will shatter the power of darkness. And that light is the word of the living God. The vessel of the living God, Bishop Abiola Idowu, brings you the light. A new song coming to you, a new song. Through the word of God that will bring you to total fulfillment in life. No more sickness, disease, failure, guilt, condemnation, and affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, welcome Bishop Abiola Idowu. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited to be with you again tonight on Dominion Over Sickness and Disease, the program that God has designed to bring your beauty back. You remember, He beautify the meek with salvation. And when you are saved, it's not just the salvation of your soul, it's salvation of your body. God wants you to know that there is no way He can separate your body from your soul. Your, your spirit and your soul because you need the body to operate on the earth. So it's concerned about your body just as it's concerned about your soul. But the enemy wants to destroy this body so that you won't be able to do the kingdom assignment on the earth. So this program is designed to put you back on your feet and tell the devil you don't have a right to touch me at all or anybody in my household. Now, Today, I want you to just release your faith as we go into the Word of God because the Word of God is not just a, 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 it's not a, a, a voice, it's not a noise. The voice of the Lord is a force that brings the things from the realm of the Spirit into the physical. Many times we don't really understand the fact that when you go to the store, what you want to look for, you already know the eye that the, that the thing is. Or you want to tell any of the uh, the attendants in the in the store, where do you have X, Y, Z? And they take you there. And you know that when you get there, you get the product you are looking for. Now, the word of God portray what is available in the kingdom, in the store of God's kingdom, so that you can go there and pick what belongs to you. So tonight, I want you to just get ready and let's get things together and get God's plan for our life from the book. So let's just have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and all the praise for these wonderful people that are listening to your word today. Thank you for the power that confirms the word. Thank you for the word of God cannot fall to the ground. Thank you because of strengthening things out in their destiny. Thank you for operating the power of sickness and disease or oppression of the devil in the life of your precious people. Receive all our praise in the name of Jesus. As the word goes forth today, Holy Spirit, I am believing and trusting you that you will touch every heart. You will change destiny. You will turn destiny and, and you give people according to desire of their heart according to your word thank you father for doing this in jesus mighty name amen i want to welcome you one more time to uh this awesome program i want you to have this understanding that god has taken it upon himself to take care of your body he wants you to know that he cares for you and he cares for that body now let me tell you this one of the greatest gifts that god has given to us on earth is our body. Because the moment your body is no more functioning, you are no more fit to be here. In other words, if the body is out, you are out. You are out of this planet. You can be, I know you can be to be, to be absent from the body, you to be present with the Lord. Now, but if your assignment is not over, it becomes a violation of God's divine plan for your life if you allow the enemy to take your life before your day. And what he does is he wants to come into your life in form of sickness and disease and begin to reduce your life lifespan, which God is saying you should not allow. Let me show you something he said in Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 4. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4. He said, and even to your old age, I am he. And even to her years will I carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and I will deliver you. In other words, God is taking it upon himself to carry you even to your old age. So we saw from the scripture that, I mean, premature death is not part of God's plan at all. God didn't want you to die young. But that's why Jesus Christ took your place. He said, I will carry you. I will 
carry you. I have made, I will bear, I will carry, and I will deliver you from sickness and disease. Now, God wants you to seek him first. Wherever there is a challenge in the area of your health, don't seek any other thing first. I'm not against medication. I'm not against the, I mean, going to the hospital. But hospital must not be the first thing you think about. You must seek him first. Let me show you this. In, in uh, 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 Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 12 to 13. Second Chronicles chapter 16, 12 to 13. He said, and Asa in the 39th year of his, age, of his reign was diseased in his feet. We don't know what the disease is all about. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, maybe complication for something. No, but the Bible says, until his disease was exceeding great, he became terminal. He said, yet in his disease, he sought not the Lord, but to the physicians. Do you see that? Now, he sought not the Lord, but to the physician. And let's see what happened in verse 13. He said, And Asa slept or died with his fathers and died in one and forty-eight year of his reign. Now we saw that this is not God's plan for his life. Do you know why he died prematurely? He didn't call to heavens. God is saying, if anything is happening, call me first. The guy died because he was always believing total 100% faith in the physicians. Now, the physicians themselves need God to live. Get that right. Let, let me compare this scripture with you. Let's see what happened to Ezekiah in contrast. Now, in, in Isaiah chapter 38, 38 verses 1 to 5. Isaiah chapter 38 verses 1 to 5. He said, in those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Okay? Now, and he said, Then Ezekiah turned his face towards the world and prayed unto the Lord. He prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember, Lord, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. And I've done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept so. Now, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, okay, go and say to Ezekiah, thus say the Lord, the God of David, thy father, have I thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. Do you see that one now? Now, we saw a lesson there, this man was sick also. And the Bible says it was terminal sickness. But the Bible says he turned to the Lord. Now, I don't know after he turned to the Lord whether he was taking any medication. That's not what we are talking about right now. But he, talked, he turned to the Lord and he said, instead of death, the Bible says God added extra 15 years. I want you to know your life is in the hand of God and in his hand he is so saved. He is so saved. Now you must recognize God as the source of your strength. He is the one that determines everything that happens around you if you agree with him. The Bible says, he said the power, he said, he said, he said the Lord killeth and is 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 yeah uh 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 I I I think in the book of uh, Isaiah the scripture was saying he said the power he said the Lord kill it and the Lord give it life he, the book of Job he said he he kill it and he give it life now listen this is very important now you cannot overrule the truth of the scripture God is a jealous God. When you put him first, he rises to defend you immediately. Now, I'm not against you going to the hospital, get me right. I'm not saying you should not take your medication, get me right, until you get to that place. But God is saying, if you put me in my place, I will rescue you from going down to the dungeon of death. Because every one of us need to know that we are not just redeemed to go to heaven. We are redeemed to have a sound head, to have a sound life. The glory of the Lord is not shining when we just come to the church and we just worship. 
The glory of God is shining when your health is intact. Now, watch this. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and verse number 20, it said, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your, in your spirit, which are God. So God wants your body, your, his life to shine forth through you that everything in your life is glorifying him. Do you notice anything right now in your body that is not glorifying God in form of sickness and disease? Let me tell you, it's a violation. It's a violation of eternal plan and you must not agree with it. You must stand against it. That's why he gave you the name. That's why he gave you his blood. That's why he gave you his spirit. We have enough to fight the devil and get him out of our body by faith in the word of God. And tonight, I want you to release your faith as we pray. Because I'm going to begin to speak to those things that the enemy is hanging on you. It's not supposed to be there. The plan of God stands forever as far as your life is concerned. I saw in the scripture that Jesus Christ himself took your sickness and your disease. If God has taken it through our Lord Jesus Christ, now why should you have them anymore? That means something is happening against God's plan for your life and don't agree with it if you don't if you don't repel it, the enemy will want to put them on you. So I'd like you to pray this prayer with me. I'd like you to stretch forth your faith. And if you have any pain in your body, anything troubling you, I want you to lay your hands on it right now as we pray. And I'm trusting the Lord Jesus Christ as we pray right now that God is going to uproot it. Remember, Asa do not seek the Lord. And that's why the calamity came. But if we are seeking him tonight, I know that it's going to be a rescue there is going to be a restoration of everything father in the name of jesus we stand in agreement tonight based upon your word oh god every imbalance in the body every affliction hear the word of the living god i come against you right now i eject you right now i silence your operation right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every area of your body that the enemy is touching, from the crown of your, of your head, down to the sole of your feet, every pain, hear the word of God. I uproot you now in the name of Jesus. I silence everything that is rising against your joy. By the favor of God, I decree breath forth on every side. Let the light of God begin to shine in your body. Everything cause sickness, pain. Hear the word of the living God. Get out in the name of Jesus as you are laying hands upon that place. As a child of God, I release my faith with your faith. And I command everything contrary to be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive your peace. Receive your soundness in the mighty name of God. I come against every blindness, every paralysis, every blood pressure, hypertension, every arthritis, every diabetes. I come against you, you are in name, but the name of Jesus Christ is above you. Lord, as we come to seek the Lord tonight, we command that the life of God flow through these bodies and you receive perfect soundness in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing this for us. To you be glory and praise forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Do you just know what happened right now? You are healed. Just exercise your faith. That is what makes it work. Now, Jesus can met those guys and they just said, go and show yourself to the priest. And they just took the step of faith. And as they were going, all the diseases dropped. Now, you too, take a step of faith. Jesus, can you heal me? Because you want to show your love to me. And I thank you for it. And you begin to see, you begin to hear better. Right now, your eyes is getting clearer. Now, Things are just happening just like that to the glory of, your, of his name. Now, if you have noticed anything happen to you immediately, please notify us. We want to rejoice with you. Media at crepa.org. Media at crepa.org. Just then sell us, send us an email or whatever. And we will rejoice with you and we thank God with your life. And let me tell you this. If you are hearing me tonight and you have not said yes to Jesus, you have never given your life to him, you are not yet born again, now, you are the one opening the back door for the enemy to come and invade. 
you can shut everything down against him. You can re receive the grace that make great into your life. I want you to say a simple prayer with me and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. He will save you. He will give you a brand new beginning. Say this, say this prayer after me. Say, Father, I thank you because you love me. You died for me. On the third day, you resurrected. From today, I give my life to you. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Do you know what just happened? You are now a child of the living God. God is all over you to save you, to preserve you, and to move you forward. And you have to begin to fellowship with the children of God. Anywhere you are, look for a Bible-believing church and be part of the church. Begin to learn the word of God and the principles of the kingdom. And if you are around Jacksonville area, what a joy. You can just join us tomorrow, 7 p.m. It's going to be a wonderful time this Wednesday. And on Sunday, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. You can just stream with us online and God of heaven will change your life forever. It is well with you. Till next week when we meet again, God bless you. And remember, Jesus is alive.